Hey GITV, I'm Daniel. Today we're taking a look at the SEMA or CYMA Galil SAR. Now this gun is fully licensed by Cybergun, which is nice, where we do have a lot of real world trademarks on it. So on the right side, we do have IWI, which stands for Israel Weapon Industries. Now that's the uh, company that manufactures the real gun. They used to be known as IMI or uh, Israel Military Industries but have since changed their name. So some of the old airsoft versions of this gun may have that old trademark on it. All the newer ones should have IWI on it. Now this gun is based off an AK-47 but it's kind of a refined version where a lot of the features are a little bit more thought out. So to start we do have a full metal construction. We do have a nylon fiber handguard and a nylon fiber pistol grip. Pistol grip is rather comfortable to hold. On the left side of the pistol grip, we do have a fake fire selector that is not functional, but it's to mimic the real one, so it's just a nice attention to detail from SEMA. On the right side, we do have a functioning fire selector switch. It's gonna work just like the AK, where uh, top is gonna be safe, middle is gonna be full auto, and all the way down is gonna be semi-automatic. We do have a magazine release that's also like the AK. It's gonna rock in and out, and it's ambidextrous if you're left or right-handed. Also, we do have an upgraded charging handle. Now, this is great where if you are going to access it with your right hand or your left hand, it's much bigger and much easier to get a hold of, so it's just great to work with. Also, you're going to need that to adjust your hop-up, which is located inside. We do have a side folding stock, which is one of my favorite features about this gun. One of my personal gripes about AKs is that the AK stocks can be a little bit long, sometimes a little cumbersome, especially if you're a younger player. This problem is solved where now you can just fold it to the side and it gives you a lot more mobility with the gun. One of my other favorite features about this gun is the iron sights. The iron sights, there's actually two of them, where the first one is your traditional peephole, which would be more ideal for long range, and then you also have a three dot white sight built in as well. And so all you have to do is flip them up and down, where the real one, I believe it's more gonna be a tritium used for nighttime settings, but this is nice where it's gonna be kind of more CQB, a lot easier and a lot quicker to pick up. On the left side of the gun, we also have two sling points, one in the back and one in the front over here. These sling points are actually welded into the gun, which is right, nice. That's going to be very sturdy. There's no little latches or anything else that's going to break over time. should last a good while. So we're going to take this gun to the chronograph, see what it's shooting, and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so that was the chronograph reading, shooting right between 375, 385 FPS, so definitely ideal for an outdoor gun. Internally, this is going to be manufactured by SEMA. It does utilize a version 3 gearbox, which is nice. That uses a caged motor, which is actually attached to the gearbox itself. That just means it's going to be a little bit more reliable. All metal gearbox inside, all metal gears, all that good stuff as well. Because it's a version 3, there's a lot of internal parts that are available for that uh, version, which means you can always upgrade, you can go faster rate of fire, faster FPS or you can downgrade it as well because you have that side folding stock let's say you wanted to downgrade it to below 350 for indoor play this gun can be mobile enough and utilized well at, in an indoor field in the box it's going to come with the gun the magazine which is a 430 round high cap magazine an 8.4 1100 milliamp nickel metal hydrate battery and also a standard wall charger i would recommend getting a smart charger later on in the future if you don't already have one this gun is going on our website for 229 dollars and 99 cents. Check it out, airsoftgi.com. I'm Daniel. Thanks for watching, guys.